Stan Booknook Noggin, and I kind of thought about it, and I was like, even though I lost a bunch of subscribers from the last little, little kind of chat kind of video, <laughs> I think it's funny that people actually unsubscribe because of that. Unless it was just a coincidence, but it doesn't feel like a coincidence. But I kind of like the idea of doing that kind of impromptu kind of little chat video with you guys. Just kind of giving you updates about what's going on. What I'm reading, what I've been watching, that kind of stuff. Maybe I'm going to call them updates from the nook. That might be something, some way I can call them. I'm not 100% sure yet. We're just kind of going with the flow here. But let's talk about something I just recently watched. I just recently, this past week, I watched Black Adam. Um, this is D another uh, DC Comics film. And I gotta admit, guys, I feel like I've been getting more out of DC Comics films than I have from Marvel films. And I feel like people are gonna say that that's not cool because I know a lot of people hate on the DC films and everybody loves the Marvel films. But I was kind of unsure of Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, as Black Adam. But this film was fucking intense, man. It had a lot of great action scenes. Um, Dwayne Johnson did a really good job in acting it out. I thought he was a brilliant fucking Black Adam. Um, they tried to add in some corny kind of comedic lines where he was going to say, I'm the man in black and something around that kind of thing. But I really liked the story that was kind of behind the Black Adam about an oppressed people and how they need someone to help lift them out of the situation. And along comes this anti-hero in Black Adam. And he's kind of not really like a Superman, but he's not really like a total villain either. I, I, I really liked that. And then the backstory was really touching too. I'll admit I cried. <laughs> enough of that I thought the soundtrack was really cool for that too because it's sometimes very rarely will I go check and go and look for a soundtrack for a film but I kind of liked some of the songs from that so I went and checked out the soundtrack and I didn't want to go into too deep a dive because I know people like the orchestrated music in a lot of films and I was like not going to listen to that much of it Okay, P.A. Shepard, um, kind of, you know, he messaged me on Instagram. I don't know if he's still on Twitter, but he uh, had told me he has a sci-fi horror book that he was releasing, and he asked me if I wanted a review copy, and I was like, yeah, sure, man. I'm like, that sounds interesting. I'll check it out. Uh, space horror and its finest artificial intelligence, space pirates, and badass sapphic heroes. So it's got a little bit of everything. But it's called Terraforming. That's the cover. I don't know if I... If, yep. Did he, A.A. Medina, do the cover for this one too? It looks like his style. And I think he did. No, cover... Yes, it is by him. Okay, that's Adrian's work. I thought so. I've um, never heard of the publisher. The publisher is called Perched Raven Press. But this is something that's coming soon. I forgot the date, um, if I can try to recall from the combos I had with him and find the release date for that. I will put that here. But um, I'm not sure 100% on that, the release date. Um, this is a movie I watched. I saw a trailer for this and another film that I watched. And I was like, you know what? That looks really weird and really interesting. Um, and I kind of looked at the letterbox. I don't know if you guys do letterbox or not. Letterbox is like Goodreads for films. And this was their one of their number one films for last year. That made me even more interested in wanting to see this. Um, everything, everywhere, all at once is kind of about, not kind of, it's about a multiverse scenario. We got this character named Evelyn Wong, and um, I, I, to be honest, I, I recognize the only actor, actress that I really knew for sure who they were was Jamie Lee Curtis, and I'm ashamed to admit that, but I saw a lot of Asian actors that I, I know them from films. Like, I know this lady, I've seen her in something. Um, her father was the, the guy who sold the gremlins, who sold the mogwai. 
Um, and Data from the Goonies is her husband, which I thought was pretty cool. Because I don't know how many times people would always mistake the guy from, from The Walking Dead for him. Like, that's not the same guy. I mean, it's like, how could you not tell that it's not the same guy? But yeah, he's in this, and I thought that was pretty cool because he's kind of like this little tech kind of gadget guy, and he, he wears this fanny pack, and he, like just like he did when he was in the Goonies, and he pulls all this shit out of his pack, and he does all this kung fu stuff. That was one of the things I loved about this film was the fight scenarios and the fight scenes. If you're into martial arts, definitely I think you're going to love this. Like when I say action pack. There's a lot of kick-ass going on in this film. So it is definitely entertaining. It does get really weird. It does get really, really weird. Really weird. And I'll admit, I don't know if I enjoyed this so much because I did smoke a little reef before I started watching it. But yeah, that probably helped me enjoy this a lot more. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed this. I gave this 4 out of 5 star rating. I really loved this film. It was really entertaining. Um, it did get a little weird. Like I said, there was this whole, like, cult of the everything bagel. Like, when it says everything, everywhere, all at once, like, I had to kind of go into this zen place. I, when I, I had to smoke a little and watch this, and I got to this zen place, and it kind of made sense when I was watching it. But it's a little weird. It's a little out there. But yeah, it's just kind of how silly and how random, because, you know, particles. And it goes into this whole meta physical kind of stuff it was interesting it was interesting but it is a little weird like one of the instances involves not safe for work them jumping on the butt plugs to go to different multiverses yes you heard me say that right when i said that's a little weird there's butt plugs trophy trophy butt plugs <laughs> it was weird. It was different, but I really liked it, even though it was weird and it was different. I, I, I enjoyed it. Okay, let's talk about what I'm currently reading. I am currently reading Stirring the Sheets by Chad Lutsky by Bloodshot Books. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this right now. Um, I'm definitely, probably definitely going to review it. Um, I'm more than halfway through it, and I know it's a super short book, and I know there's people who can read these kind of books in one sitting, but I'm not the kind of person that can do that. Like, when I read a book, I kind of, because I don't have that much time, I really do not have that much time in my life where I can sit and read this, especially, like, I just don't have the attention to focus that long on something, unless it's a video game, then I can focus forever, but yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know how I feel about this. Um, I'm up to the part, you know, they introduced the character. They kind of revealed why he's kind of like a sad kind of person. And I, I kind of got that. It's kind of, it's lovely. It's lovely writing. It's paced decent. Um, they got to the part where he brought home the body. And I'm just not sure how I feel about it right now. But it, I know, I know this is one of those books that everybody loves. But, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it some more. I don't know. I'll probably finish it this week sometime. Um, I'm also reading Shadowland Thunderbolts. I kind of wanted to go back and, like, read some back issues of some prior storylines that maybe I read the main part and I just kind of want to fill in the blanks. Just, just filler reads more or less, like... Let's face it, a lot of the stuff I've been reading comic book wise is not something I'm going to go and review and make videos for. They're just kind of I, they're I books, you know, they're okay. Uh, but yeah, I, I kind of was interested in this, this storyline and I like the Thunderbolts, I like the idea and I'm sort of like, yes, let's check this one out. And of course, I'm still working on on the Savage side. I remember the name of the book by Tiffany McDaniel. It's got two different covers. I've noticed, like the cover for Goodreads, is a picture of two girls in an abandoned car in a field, which is kind of I kind of like that cover. And then there's the cover, which I think is the one she's using to market the book, and it's a blue, red, white cover, and it focuses on how the two girls have different colored eyes and 
So, but that one's kind. I kind of like that one too. But, so yeah, but um, that one I'm a little bit further, <laughs> not by much since my last video. I'm like 27 percent, I think, into that one. Um, yeah, I just. I don't know. I'm just not really feeling like reading that one right away. I finished that Your Dad Will Do book, and her name is Katie Robert. That's the lady who wrote that. Um, I went and uh, I added a couple of more of her books because I might read those in the future. Um, after I finished that one, I started Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and Terry... Is it Terry Pratchett? Terry Pratchett, I think, and he's a sci-fi writer who did Discworld, I do believe, and I've never read anything by him. Um, I, it's kind of hard to distinguish what parts of that he has written versus Gaiman because like, I, I feel like most of what I've read so far in this book feels like Gaiman. And I have that copy sitting around somewhere. I just don't have it for the filming of this. But, you know, when I do a review of that, if I do a review of that one, I'll have the book so you guys can see the copy I have. Like, if that really matters to you. Um, but yeah, this is going to be enough of me rambling. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to update these kind of videos when I can. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to throw out there that I didn't upload for a while at the beginning of the month because I was super sick. Like, I've never been so sick in my life. Um, I thought I for sure had COVID because, like, I kind of, like, the new... The new, um, what do you call it? The new strain of this stuff had all these different symptoms, and I felt like I checked all the boxes for them, and my test was negative. But I was on two antibiotics I was on a Z pack, and then some other antibiotic. But it, man, that shit knocked me out. I thought I was gonna die. I was like having like fever and chills, and like I've never had chills so bad, guys, where I was physically shaking I could not stop shaking but yeah I <laughs> it's a good thing I went to the urgent care and like got myself checked out for that but yeah that was something that happened that's why it took me a while to upload the last few videos that I uploaded for the month but aside from that I've been looking for another job I feel like I kind of need to get out of the job I'm in because Let's face it, they don't pay me a hell of a lot of money. They do give me good time off. They do match my retirement. and It's close to home, which that's a plus, and it's easy. I mean, it's boringly monotonous. But, yeah, I need to make more money. So, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now. We're going to end this video where it is. Timothy, you want to lift your head up so you can say bye? Or are you just going to purr? All right. Alright, this is Dan. See you later. Timothy's just chilling here. He's trying to fall off my lap, apparently. <laughs> Sit up, boy. Sit up. Sit up, boy. Say bye. Alright, guys. Later.